Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is my review of A Plague Tale Innocence. I played the game on PS4 Pro. The game supports HDR, but I liked it better without it. Uh, you just have to try how it looks on your television. This review will not contain any details or uh, spoil the game in any ways. I will give this game solid 8 out of 10, but my opinion is biased in a way that I'm all for medieval dark stories. I can totally understand if someone wanted to give it 7 out of 10, but I, I wouldn't understand any less than that. The graphics in this game are beautiful. Sometimes it felt like this is the best looking game I have ever seen so far. There are times it feels average, but overall graphics for me a 9 out of 10. It really captures the medieval atmosphere, environment, clothing, clothing animation, all really among the best there is today. Sometimes I just stopped looking at the details that fit the environment so well. I have a suspicion that PS4 Pro is not even capable of presenting the game in the best possible way. If I had known, I would have got this game, game on PC and play it in best graphics possible. Sound and occasional music is also very good and medieval-like. The story is obviously what this game is built upon. It's sad, brutal, dark and really well written. This doesn't show much in the beginning of the game, but in the end the story is completely fictional, so don't expect it to be very realistic or somehow historically accurate. But still, it's so good that I, I always wanted to see what happens next. The game is divided in small enough chapters, so, so if you want it to last, you can easily play just one chapter at the time. Uh, this is how I mostly played the game. In the end, this, however, is a video game and a video game also needs to have engaging gameplay. Even if there is absolutely nothing really wrong about it, I think that gameplay is the most simplified aspect of this game. It's very linear, sometimes you get two different paths from which to basically randomly choose which ones to take. Uh, there is a little bit freedom to explore the area, you can find small side events that trigger dialogue. The game has collectibles, crafting and some resource management. I didn't manage to do all the crafting before the end, even if I tried to be thorough when looting, so definitely plenty of stuff to find. The action in this game is practically solving small puzzles. They are not very difficult, but Amicia is not very good at fighting except from long range, so prepare to die many times during your adventure. Good luck trying to complete this game without any deaths. Even if I died often, I really wanted to avoid Amicia dying, so I guess I really cared about the main character. This is not a full priced game, but is it worth of 50 euros it cost? For me, yes. However, if you don't like solving small puzzles, then you might enjoy just watching the story from YouTube or such. Overall, I really liked this game, but sometimes I hoped that it could be a less puzzle game and more action slash exploration type game. I hope this review was useful and thank you very much for watching.